Hi, I'm Helen with Floating Yoga School. I'm here today filming in Muskoka, Canada, beautiful surroundings, and we're planning some really fun events and retreats here, so keep an eye on our website, floatingyogaschool.com, for more information. Today's flow is a yang yin flow, or what I call kind of a heat warm up flow, and then a slow down deep stretch. I love this style because it gives me the best of both worlds, feeling like I'm working on strengthening, connecting to that inner fire within me, and then also getting the chance to slow down, let go, deep stretch that I'm always craving. So as you're ready, we're gonna get started today in a child's pose on your mat. Inner child's pose can be with knees wide, knees together, whatever feels the most comfortable. Let your forehead melt down toward your mat, arms stretch out in front of you. And just take some time here to really arrive. Notice how you're feeling, what's going on externally and internally. and start to lengthen and deepen your breath. Smooth, deep inhales in and out through your nose. Stay low to the ground, start to crawl your hands over to your right, let your hips lean a little bit left. Head and neck can relax or rest on your arm. And then pass through center, take your hands all the way left, hips a little right. Finding a stretch in the opposite direction. Bring it back to center. Lift to a tabletop, hands and knees, and take a moment to align your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, to move in whatever way feels natural. For me, it's cow and cat. For you, it might be something different. If you're joining me, inhale to cow pose. Lift your tailbone, drop your belly, send your heart forward like you're reaching your chest through your shoulder blades. Exhale, press into the ground, scoop round, tuck your chin, hollow out. Move like that with your breath or whatever way you've chosen. And start to really connect your movements to your breath, noticing your inhales and your exhales, how they help create space, how they help release tension, and what movements feel most natural with each breath. Come back toward neutral, breathe in. As you exhale, draw your knees together to touch. Extend your right leg straight back behind you, take an inhale. As you exhale, cross your foot over to the left. So it comes off your mat on the left side, toes tucked under, heel presses back. You can stay or start to peek over your right shoulder, find a stretch through your right side. Bring it back, breathe in. As you exhale, take your foot all the way to the right. So it's off your mat, in line with your left foot, or left knee, I should say. Rise up to stand on your left knee and right foot. Both arms to the sky, breathe in. As you exhale, gate pose, right hand down your right leg, left arm up and over. One of my favorite stretches, find lots of space through your waist. Keep breathing. Inhale to center, hands high. As you exhale, left hand to the ground, right arm reaches up for a modified or supported side plank. You can stay, you can always lift your right leg for a little bit more heat, find a sense of engagement, or simply feel the length. Keep breathing, of course. I'll keep reminding you of that. I'm reminding myself just as much. One more inhale. Exhale, take it to a tabletop, back to your hands and your knees. Reset, whatever that looks like or means to you. Knees come together, left leg behind you, breathe in. As you exhale, cross your left foot over to the right. Peek over your right shoulder, find that space where you need it. Use your breath to expand through the sides of your waist. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, take it over to your left. I'm kind of dodging bird poo here, so <laughs> notice your surroundings. Rise to standing, arms to the sky, breathe in. Left hand down your left leg, right arm up and over, find your gate pose. 
Notice where you can breathe a little bit more space into your physical body. Even if that doesn't make sense, can you imagine that you can lengthen, you can expand a little bit more? Back to center, breathe in. As you exhale, right hand down, find that supported side plank. Stack your hips, your shoulders stay. Maybe you float your left leg for a little bit more heat. One more breath in and exhale, release back to your tabletop. A little time here to move around and then make your way into a downward facing dog, an upside down V shape, hips to the sky. Knees can be bent or legs can be straight if that feels better. Maybe a little pedal is, is nice. Some movement, kind of embracing that yang, more structured, more masculine, more warm energy. Or embracing some yin, more fluid, more feminine, more cool energy. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Exhale, make your way to your hands, forward fold. Lift halfway, inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. Inhale, rise, arms sweep high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach overhead. Interlace your fingers and flip your palms to the sky. Take a breath in here, stretch it up and over. Inhale, back to center. Keep your hands interlaced. Exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, cactus your arms, bend your elbows, lift your heart. Breathe in, hands high. Breathe out, dive it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to plank, hands down, step back, hold, and just breathe. This first time through building a little heat, we'll come back here. You're always welcome to hop it back Add in your own variations. Breathe in to shift forward. Lower slowly to your belly as you exhale. Little baby cobra, inhale, lift your heart. Doesn't have to be high. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up through tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Exhale, make your way top of your space. Inhale, lift halfway and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms to your heart. So as we flow with our breath, really stay connected to the feelings, the sensations. Inhale, reach high. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, flip your palms to the sky. Take a breath in here. Exhale, up and over to your right. You can stay or bend your knees, draw a big circle with your hands. Take it all the way up and around, back to center. Inhale. Exhale to the left, stay, or again, big circle. Inhale, release your grip. Exhale, cactus your arms. Hands high, breathe in. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, make your way down to, back to downward facing dog. I'm gonna step back to plank. Move chaturanga to my belly once more and take a locust pose with cactus arms. Lifting feet and chest, you can take whatever you like. Use an exhale to make your way to downward facing dog. Maybe there's a breath in and out through your mouth to release. Maybe there's simply a moment to notice what's happening. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, find your way to the top of your space. Step, hop, walk it. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. A moment here to reset, adjust whatever you need. You know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, hands to your heart. Shift your weight into your left foot. You're gonna take your right ankle on top of your left thigh for a standing figure four and stay. And this might feel a little early, working on a little bit of balance, kind of building that heat and embracing the heat, the shakes, the movement. Breathe through it. One more inhale. 
Exhale, crossed ankle fold, right leg slides on your left leg. Relax your hands, your head and neck toward the earth. Knees might bend a lot, one or both, whatever feels the most natural. Embrace that, try not to fight it. Give your body, yourself a little grace. Wait into your right foot. So the foot on top for me, it helps to bring my hands a little bit forward. Standing splits, left foot comes up to the sky. And you can always adjust on your mat if you don't like to be this sideways. Take some little pulses here with your left leg. Feeling some heat in the back. Nice deep breath in. And then exhale, step it back. We're gonna find warrior two. Front heel in line with back arch. Back heel, whatever feels the most natural, some time to settle in. Keep your bottom half the same. Inhale, reverse warrior. Re reach your left arm back too. It's like you're holding a beach ball. Exhale to extended side angle, holding that beach ball. Twice more, inhale, reach it up and back. Just your upper body's moving. Exhale, reach it forward. Last time, breathe in and breathe out inhale reverse triangle right leg straight sweep it up and back exhale cartwheel your hands down make your way back to a standing split so left leg to the sky take a deep breath in as you exhale you're going to bend both knees lift your right heel and try to sit onto your right heel as you swing your left leg in front and it may not be a smooth transition that is okay it may never happen and that is okay too if you'd like to play, squeeze your inner thighs, engage your left foot, really flex through your toes. Maybe hands to heart for balance. Nice deep breath in. Release, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Tuck and curl. Lift your heels, drop your forehead, and then sit back to a boat pose. Hips down shins floats lift your heart relax your shoulders find length and breath some more depth in your presence you can you notice something else around you in your space or something else inside you how you're feeling deep breath in exhale we'll make our way to down dog i'm going to cross my ankles try to hop back hands in front if you want to play with me land elbows bent chaturanga inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog Adjust however you like. Reset mentally, physically, and then come to your forward fold top of your space. Step, hop, float it up. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, fold. Rise up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Second side, inhale to your chair. Exhale, hands to your heart. Wait into your right foot this time, your left ankle crosses, flex your toes, send your hips back. For me, more depth in the squat makes it more stable. I say that and then I fall out. And that's perfectly normal and okay. A steady gaze will help too. One point that you're looking at. One more breath in. Exhale, crossed ankle fold. Left foot slides down your right leg. Hands, head and neck relax to the ground. So we're taking this to standing splits again as you're ready. If you want some more time here, please stay. Weight into your left toes, fingers a little forward. Right leg floats up and some little pulses. Building some heat through your hamstrings and your glutes. I got a little pop in my back there too, bonus. <laughs> Breathe in. Step back, set up for a warrior two. So it doesn't have to be fancy. My favorite flows are the ones that just feel good in my body and oftentimes that's moving really simply. Connecting with my breath. Bottom half stays the same. Inhale that reverse warrior with beach ball arms. Exhale side angle with beach ball arms. Just taking it up and over like your body's a wave. Inhale, stretch it up and back. Exhale, reach it forward. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, reverse triangle, left leg straight, stretch up and back. Exhale, back to your standing splits. Cartwheel your hands down, right leg high. Breathe in. 
Tuck and curl, lift your left heel. See if you can swing your right leg out in front. You're sitting on your left heel. Squeeze your inner thighs. Maybe play with floating your right foot off the ground and bringing your hands to your heart. Deep breath in. Release to forward fold, breathe it out. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Heel toe your feet out wide, heels and toes out, sit into a squat malasana, hands to your heart. Move around, shoulders out of your ears, lift your heart. Find that nice deep breath in. Big full breath out, let something go. Always the balance of in and out, expanding, releasing. Just like we move through life, it's never a straight line. One more breath. Release down to a seated position, a little butterfly. We'll take a little moment here to stretch. We've got a couple more shapes that are gonna build some heat. Breathe in and fold as you breathe out. So knees out to the side. You can open your feet like books. Give yourself a little foot massage. Maybe even let your head and your neck go. and slowly lift up. Play with your boat pose again. So knees together. Perhaps you wanna try holding onto your big toes and extending your legs in front of you. If you prefer, hands stay behind your legs, they go wide. Hands can even come to feet go wide, sometimes that's easier on hamstrings. Wherever you are, try to suck your belly button up and underneath your ribs, lift your heart, relax your shoulders a little. Deep breath in. Exhale, make your way to down dog. If you play with that crossed ankle, hop back. You might play again, hands down, hop it back. Land elbows bent. And from down dog, you can stay. You can always drop to a child's pose. We'll meet there eventually. Or drop your forearms to a dolphin shape. So both forearms down at the same time or one at a time. And it might be easier to come from, the, from a tabletop. Let your head and neck go. And I love this shape because it's a beautiful balance of strengthening and opening through your shoulders, your chest, your upper back. Option to stay. Option to move into a forearm stand, go upside down, or a baby crow. So I'll share baby crow first. If you want to play with that, knees walk in really close. Your butt might have to lower a little. Look to your thumbs. Lean forward like you're going to kiss your mat and you're getting really close. Knees to triceps and see if you can float your feet. So there's a shift forward that has to happen. Kind of crouch into a little ball around. Maybe you can float. For a forearm stand, stay in your dolphin one leg up. Lean forward, look between your hands. See if you can catch a little air. For me, it's actually easier if I bend my top leg. Find kind of this bent leg shape. Maybe not that side. And then take your child's pose to rest and release. In your child's pose, tune back to your breath. One more here. We're gonna take some slow, longer holds and stretches, moving into a more yin side of our practice. Starting with a puppy pose. So you can lift to a tabletop position Walk your hands forward, drop your chin, your forehead, your chest toward your mat, whatever's the most accessible or comfortable. And just breathe here. Child's poses are released, so if you'd like to go there sooner, please do. If you can, hold through the discomfort, not pain. Anything sharp shooting, we move out of anything just kind of uncomfortable, dull, achy. You might breathe through, but you have to decide what's best for you.
We don't do much, which might make it more challenging for you or perhaps easier. We're all different. And the beauty of practicing from home in your own space is there's no comparison. So don't worry about what's happening physically for me. My body is not your body and vice versa. Let's take two more breaths. You can stay or slowly come up and out. For me, it feels good to have a seat here and take some shoulder rolls. You might prefer a child's pose like we talked about or come to your belly. Maybe there's a tabletop with some movement calling your name. Eventually we'll meet belly down in a crocodile pose. Body is pretty relaxed. Elbows wide, hands stacked to make a pillow for your forehead. And we don't do much here, which can make or feel a little strange for some of us who like to do. Let your breath move into the back of your body, your shoulders, your middle back, your lower back. And feel a sense of expansion with each breath in. That sense of release, letting go of tension of whatever is not serving you on your breath out. Our next shape is a half frog. I'm gonna to start to my left. You can start either way. And I like cactus arms. You're welcome to take any other arms you prefer. Left knee's gonna come off your mat to the left. Try to dodge that bird poop. Kind of like you're taking a big step off to the side. So you get a little rotation here in the hip, a little external rotation, a little release for hip flexors, low back. Pay attention to any gripping, any sensations of really holding on. And can you try to allow yourself to simply be, let go. Let yourself be held and supported by your mats in the ground below you. One more breath. I'll take it to the other side. If there's movement that you like between a little reset back in that crocodile shape, you can go there. Eventually make your way to your right or your left, whatever side you didn't do. Knee off to the side, head turned in the opposite direction. And acknowledge any differences without judging.
We'll take three more rounds of breath. Stay longer if you like, or take it back to your crocodile, some movements. Eventually, maybe pressing up to a tabletop. We're gonna come to our backs, but if there's anything else you'd like to do from your hands and knees, from a seated position, please feel free to go there first. As you're ready, come all the way down to a reclined setup. Make a little adjustments here. Whoop. And we're gonna work into a banana shape. So making exactly what it sounds like with your body. Walk your feet over to your right, your hands up and over your head, hand over to your right as well. So stretching up and like behind you, not to the sky or the ceiling. If you want, right hand can catch your left wrist. Maybe even your left ankle can cross on top of your right or right over left, whatever feels more natural for me. That's a little too much on this side. And then kind of find that edge of stretching and then release from there. So a yin practice can be really different from our more moving practices, the hatha style or vinyasa style, in that we're less concerned with perhaps the exact anatomy or building muscle or feeling really warm. It's more this meditative space of letting go of the in-between moments, building resilience physically in our joints through our connective tissue but also mentally. What they have in common is that idea of union or oneness that yoga is all about. Connection to something greater. Connection to your true self. Body, mind, and spirit connected. And I'm less concerned with holding things the exact right amount of time on each side today. More about feeling what feels right. So if you like some more time, or if things don't feel even for you, please feel free to adjust. You can come back to center, take a little moment to reset. I like a windshield wiper of my legs. That could be stillness that you prefer. And then take it to the other side. Hands and feet walk up and over to your left. Grabbing your right wrist with your left hand if you like. Crossing your right or left ankle on top if one of those feels really natural or comfortable. And your eyes can be closed or soft. Your breath is still there, but it's more natural automatic, relaxed even. Your body knows it's supposed to breathe. So it's this beautiful thing we can both control and we can simply observe. Let's take a couple more breaths here. I 
as always, adjusting for yourself if you'd like more time. If you'd like some other movements, we're gonna come to a twisted root twist. So kind of like you're taking an eagle legs, right thigh comes up and over your left. You can tuck your toes, I prefer not to. Pick up your hips, scoot them a little bit right, and then let everything fall to your left. And this can feel really intense. You might prefer to simply stack your legs. Maybe head turns in the opposite direction of the way your knees are going. Just breathe. Just be. A little bit more time. And as you're ready, slowly unwind. Reset your hips right away to the second side, or if you prefer, some movement in between. We're getting close to our final rest. So if you haven't already, you can let this be a little bit of a meditation practice. Notice thoughts as they arise. Notice sensations and where they are. Couple more breaths. And as you're ready, unwind. Take any last shapes. For me, that's a kneaded chest. It might be a happy baby. And then mindfully get yourself set up for your final rest. A place where you can relax. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. And let yourself feel held. Supported. back to the feeling and the sensation, the awareness of your breath.
And you can be here as long as you like or begin to reawaken. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Stretch your arms overhead. And make your way mindfully, gently to a seated position. Maybe a little awkwardly <laughs> if you're like me. Arrive in your seat. Place your palms together. Feel the two sides meeting, right and left. Just like you met the yang, the yin. Those energies within all of us and around all of us. See if you can find a little bit more balance today, tomorrow, in this next week, physically, mentally, energetically, and with the world around you. We'll bow our heads in silence to close our practice. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again very soon.